question nine, write in the missing digits to make this correct. So we've got some amount of hundreds plus four tens plus some amount of units times all that by six and you get 2052. Well, the easiest way of doing this question is just to launch straight in and pretend you were doing it. Well, some amount of sixes make two. Well, that doesn't actually work. You can't multiply an amount of sixes to make two. So this two here has got to be something that ends in two. Well, the next thing that ends in two is after 10 is 12. So what we could be doing is multiplying this by six to make 12. So how many sixes make 12? Two sixes make 12. So let's try that. So two sixes would make 12. And that would give us a 2 in this column, and then we'd carry a 1 underneath. And now we'd move on. So we'd now be doing 6 times 4. Well, 6 times 4 is 24, but if we added that 1 here, we would get 25, which would fit in with this being a 5. So that looks like it must work. So 6 times 4 is 24, plus that 1 is 25, so you put your 5 in, and we would carry a 2 to the next column. Now we've got 6 times something needs to make a total answer of 20 once we've added the 2 on. But if we're adding 2 on to make 20, that must mean when we actually times the 6 by this number here, and we've already added 2 on to make 20, it's got to make 18. So 6 times this number here must make 18, so that when we add the 2 on, we get the 20. So how many 6s make 18? It's 3. So it, let's just check that. 6 times 3 is 18, plus that 2 would make 20. So it looks as though we've found the answer. What would be a wise thing to do here would just to be start from scratch and do 342, which is what we think the answer is, and see if we get 2052. Six twos are 12, put the two in, carry the one. Six fours are 24, plus that one is 25, put your five in, carry your two. And six times three is 18, plus the two is 20. So it does indeed get us back to 2052. So the missing digits are three in the hundreds column and two in the units column, making the number 342.